I think it is a, a human reaction to human uh, behavior when you have a group of people who want to kill us because we're over there trying to tell them what to do, then we want to go to war. But seriously, watch Zeitgeist 2, the addendum, and, and especially see the part about the economic hitman. And uh, that's, that's going to open up some eyes. That's what happens. Man, that's a good cigar. Now, about open-air preacher who, t who told me, Smoking is a sin. Judgment is a sin. You read the Ten Commandments. Those, I believe, were sent down by God, even if they weren't sent down by God, by Moses. Those are awfully good rules to live by. You live your life by those rules, you would have no murder, you would have no war, you would have no greed, you would have no hunger, you would have... No problems in the world ever. There would be no need for laws. There would be no need for uh, for uh, uh, governments. If everybody in the world lived their lives based on those Ten Commandments, whether they were sent down by God, whether they were sent down by Allah, whether they were sent down by Buddha, or Hare Krishna, or Lenny Bruce, whoever, wrote those Ten Commandments, those are awfully good rules to live by. And, and I, that's what I try to live my life by. I think God put us down here not to judge other people, not to kill other people. He put us down here to enjoy life and help your neighbor. You see someone down, give him a dollar. Don't, don't kick him in the head and say, you homeless person who is so lazy you can't work, you won't work. Give him a dollar. Let him know you care. You know, when you, when people know you care about them, it, it sort of gives them a sense of maybe I should care about myself because when you get to that point, you don't care. When you get to that point, you don't care. You, you just don't care. I'm going to have to do whatever I have. You know, self-preservation. Do whatever you have to do to live. And if it means... I'll, I'll stand on the street corner and beg. How many people here said, well, I would never do that? You don't know what you would do if all your money was taken away from you and your home was taken away from you and you're on the street and you, you and your wife and your two kids, you're on the streets and you don't know where your next meals come from. You don't know what you would do. You don't know if you would stand on the street corner and beg for money. You don't know if you would rob a bank. You don't know if you would go in and rob a liquor store. You don't know what you'd do to feed your family because, you know, if you're a good, decent person, your, your first thought is take care of me and my family. Money's a bad thing. Money causes people to do things that we would normally do. Money causes people to lie to their boss it causes people to steal. It causes people to sell their bodies for sex to people they don't know. Money causes people to do any number of things. It causes some people to think they're better than other people. It causes some people to think uh, in, in an envious way, I don't have what they have, so I haven't made it. It causes certain people to commit suicide. You know, I used to think, because the Bible says uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. Well, I used to think it's it was the money is the root. Money is pretty evil. You think about it. I mean, yeah, it's a necessity of life, but does it have to be a necessity of life? I think we could get along a whole lot better without money, and especially if things were cheaper. You know, greed Greed and, and money go together. But let me get back to smoking. Is smoking a sin? Is it not a sin? The Ten Commandments God sent down. Nowhere in there does it say, and thou shalt not smoke. Thou shalt not smoke cigarettes. And no open air preacher, it doesn't say thou shalt not smoke crack. But you think about it, you know, if it harms your body in such a way that it fries your brain like crack does, 
cocaine will call you. You know, I'm not going to go out and steal to get cigars. I'll work, you know. Now, at a smoke shop, I'm, I'm getting an employee discount. I'm getting a pretty decent discount. Don't ask me about it because I can't get them for you at that discount. But uh, I'm getting a pretty decent discount. So, But even though, you know, I used to buy my cigars from JR Cigars, and I used to buy some from Kramer's. But the bottom line is, you know, the only thing I'll do for a cigar is work for it. Work and, and get a cigar. And I got friends who give them to me free. And I give, I pass out free ones whenever I get some good ones. But crack will cause you to steal. It will cause you to um, uh, murder anything to get that, that drug. And it fries your brain. It messes your brain up. So anything that did that, if, if cigars did that, if, if smoking a cigar fried my brain and caused me to do evil things, I would agree with you 100%, Mr. Open Air Preacher that smoking cigars would be a sin. I don't even think smoking cigarettes is a sin. I think what the sin is, is the freaking um, extra chemicals that the cigarette companies put in those cigarettes to get you addicted so you can't, won't give them up. I'm not addicted to cigars. I could quit smoking cigars today if I wanted to. I choose not to because I love smoking cigars. I love the flavor. I love the, uh, the fact that it's a relaxing product. Same way with any any drug that causes you to alter your lifestyle in such a way where you become an evil person. Okay, yeah, I'll say that's a sin. It's wrong. It's wrong. So smoking crack, uh, doing cocaine is wrong. I used to think that drinking alcohol was a sin. I was brought up in the Church of God Church. I, but me, my personally, I do not drink alcohol. I've never developed a taste for it. I've tried it. I've tasted beer. I've tasted wine. I've tasted scotch. I've tasted whiskeys. And not the cheap stuff. I've tasted the expensive stuff. And I just don't have a taste for it. I think it's wrong to drink in excess to get when you get so freaking drunk that you're falling down puking on your best friend and uh, things like that. But, you know, on occasional drink now and then, you know, I, I, guys in my band, they drank two or three beers. Uh, over the course of eating, it doesn't affect their playing, uh, and so therefore it's okay. Uh, uh, marijuana, you know, it, it's against the law to smoke marijuana. I don't smoke it. I, I don't have anything to do with it. But it's still a product that is, is something God put on this earth, and as long as it doesn't affect you in such a way where it causes you to do anything evil, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I choose not to do it. The only thing I smoke is cigars. I love cigars. Uh, I personally can't stand the smell of marijuana. I've been around it. I can't stand the smell of it. But, you know, I can't stand the smell of Clorox either. But it's not illegal to use Clorox in your laundry. Bottom line, I, I'm just hitting a ton of subjects right here. The bailouts are bad. Gas prices right now are two ninety seven a gallon. Once the bailout happens, it's going to shoot up to over $5 a gallon. We, we need to wake up, get away from religion. I believe in God, but I don't believe in religion. And, and which reminds me of something that, that uh, I was talking about earlier, and I think I got way off track when uh, I heard Hal Lindsey on uh, a Jackie Mason blog where Hal Lindsey was talking about something, and he convinced me that something that I was sort of leaning toward he convinced me that that I was right <clears throat> even though I, that wasn't his intention when he was talking about how when things get so bad when things get really bad like they're not bad already God is going to say all right son it's time to go back and get him and he said Jesus will come down here and form a new world order those were all the words I had to hear to say, I am now convinced the New Testament was not written by the guys who hung out with Jesus, his disciples. I believe the New Testament was written by the Catholic Church as a way to control the, their people. 